to be noted is that this backup was performed in no catalog mode now we are going to proceed further and going to we are going to configure the database into catalog mode so i will just exit this utility cls and come back where i was select this is our db database now we will prepare our catalog database whose name is db cat yeah this is our database we are going to prepare this database to work to act as the catalog database so we are going to create a table space first i will see where the files are from v dollar data file then i will create a table space table space you can name this table space as you wish i am going to name is armen tbs data file in this table space is armen db01 dot dbf and its size is it's it's going to be very small uh table space so i will just because it's not going to ha uh, hold any uh, big information in it it's just metadata information about the backup so i'm just going to uh, size it as 100 mb so you can see table space has been created now what we are going to do we are going to create a user and then grant date user some quota on this table space so we are going to create a user create user you can name uh, user as you wish i am going to name it as us uh, our main usr identified by our main pwd just to make it more meaningful for you and easy to understand default table space is our main tbs temporary space is temp quota unlimited on our main tps so you can see user has been created now we need to we need to grant him some rights so that he could connect with the uh, recovery manager he could connect with the sql uh, sql plus and then we are also we also need to make this user the owner of all the information of database backups so i will say grant connect resources resource recovery catalog owner this is the role to to our main usr there we go so now this user has been created and if we will connect with this user our main our main usr our main pwd and see what this user has got view name from user views it has got no views at all no view at all select table name from user tables so this user hasn't got any anything so now what we are going to do we are going to connect with this user and connect with the database and 
create the catalog where the information about the backers will be stored. So I will come into this prompt and connect with the our main utility using the catalog mode or catalog our main is the username our main is the password and the service name is our database name data tp kit so now you can see we are connected with our main utility that means we are connected with recovery manager and this database so this utility now is not working as an uh, as independent utility this utility is connected connected with dbkit database so let's get let's proceed and see how we can create create catalog so now when i will execute this statement this will create some tables and views for our main user because right now we are connected with our main user there we go So recovery catalog has been created. Now how we can verify it? We will go into our main uh, uh, into the DB catalog. Just exit from here. CT. Our main no. Set Oracle SID DB get. SQL plus SSTPA set SQL prompt DP get yeah. and connect with our main utility our main user our main password connect clear the screen select select table name from user tables now you can see all the tables have been created with with the recovery catalog create catalog command so we will further verify select view name from user views so all the views have also been created however these views are empty these tables which we have just created using create catalog command are empty so we will just verify it select select or you can say describe rc underscore database select name from recovery catalog database should be empty of course it's empty so now the user uh, user tables have been created views have been created and those views and those tables are empty because we have not registered our target database inside this recovery catalog so now we are going to do it so we will go into uh, our main or you can just exit from here and see set oracle sid equal to our target database data db then execute our main utility connect with the target database in the catalog mode give the username as 
rmail usr give the password as rmail rmail pwd with the service is dbgate now we will register our target database within the recovery catalog so now we will go into our recovery catalog database and execute the same statement select name from rc database should show us the db so this is how we can create a catalog this is how we can register our target database into the recovery catalog database so now if we issue backup backup database statement it will perform the backups in the catalog mode with uh, catalog mode of the our main utility and the information in the tables and views will be populated and date information is about the backups which our main utility is performing right now so uh, let it perform so that we could uh, verify it also this one or see pick up piece yeah, let it complete describe select mm, this number or let me make it more meaningful for you that is db ID comma backup type comma take from C database. Okay, so backup has been completed. Now we will verify this information from the recovery manager user which we created earlier here we go so now you can see that the information in the tables of our main usr user is available in the tables so this is how we can configure our main utility to work in catalog mode performing the backups of target database and storing the information about the backups is the method in the tables of our main user so they, uh, that's all for uh, all uh, in this video and in our next videos uh, we are going to see how we can further uh, use the functionality of our main what else is available how we can unregister it and how we can um, register more than one database into recovery catalog database so that's all uh, for this video thank you very much